Hello and welcome back and in this session we are going to talk about the AWS CLI. So first we are going to take a look like what is CLI and how we can install those CLIs onto the different operating system which is like Windows, Linux and Mac OS. And after that we will also take a look like how to use the AWS documentation of CLI to understand how to execute your AWS CLI commands. Let's start with the installation of our AWS CLI and how we can install this CLI onto our Windows system. As you can see, this is my Windows system. So just open the browser to start the download of your AWS CLI. So in the Google, just type AWS CLI download, hit enter. And here you will find the first link from the AWS to download your AWS CLI. So click on it. And here you will find the options since I'm doing it for Windows. So I'm just going to go with the Windows option. And here just click on this download link. And here you can see it has downloaded me the AWS CLI. So just open the file and click on the installation. The installation is really simple on the Windows. Just click on next, accept it, next, and just install it. And it should take a couple of minutes to install onto your Windows system. And then click on finish to complete the installation. After the installation, you need to verify the AWS CLI. So in the search box, just type CMD, go to the command prompt. And here in the command prompt, you need to enter the command AWS in the small letters and then dash dash version. And you, as you can see, this is the version which I have uh, installed onto my Windows operating system. If you get this kind of output from your uh, CLI, then it means that you have successfully installed the AWS CLI onto your Windows system. The next thing is you need to configure the AWS credential inside your AWS CLI. And for that, you just need an AWS access key and AWS secret access key. And for that, you just need to go to your AWS account security credential. So here you can see this is my AWS uh, uh, root account. And here in the right hand side, you will find an option for a security credential. Just click on it. And if you scroll it down further, then you will find an option for an access key. So you just need to click on create access key over here. And here you will see this is the root account which I'm using. That's why I'm getting this message. But in case if you are not using the root account, then you will not get this kind of a message because the root account is quite secured and you should not create a multiple access keys for your root account. But this is just a demo. That's why I'm just creating it and which I will delete it very soon after the demo. OK, so I'll just click on this warning and create an access key. And here you can see the access key has been created. So just keep in mind that uh, you just need to use this access key and secret key to configure your AWS CLI and how to do that, which I'm just going to show to you right now. OK, and uh, this Windows operating system, I'm just running it remotely. And this is my local browser. So I'll just move this browser uh, onto the different screen okay and here you can see this is my windows operating system and here the command which you need to run to configure the credential is the aws configure sorry the command i have entered incorrectly i'll just clear it once again and uh, the command is aws configure so this is the command which you need to run and here it will it is going to ask you the access key so you just need to copy the access key uh, which I can show you once again. So this is the access key which you need to copy first of all. All right. So I'm just copying it and I'm just going to paste it over here. And then hit enter. And the next thing I'm just going to copy it. I'm just going to copy the secret access key. So I'm just going to copy from my browser. And again, I'm just going to go over here and go to edit. And then just I'm just going to click on paste over here and then hit enter. And here you need to enter the default reason where you would like to connect to your uh, AWS account. So I'm just going to enter EU central one and then hit enter and default output format. You can just keep it empty and that's it. And now you have configured your AWS CLI using the AWS uh, access key and the secret access key. The next thing which I always recommend to verify your credential is to run this following command onto your CMD or command line interface. So here you can see we have already configured our credential. So I'm just going to clear the screen over here. And the next command which I'm just going to run is AWS STS get caller identity so that you can verify that your credentials are correct and you are connected to your AWS account and then hit enter over here. 
and here you can see this is the account id uh, user id and arn of my particular account id is visible over here which means we have successfully installed our aws cli onto our windows system and our aws cli is properly connected using our secret credential and this particular aws configure step is very common for all the operating system whether you are using windows whether you are using linux or whether you are using a mac, uh, mac os so this aws configure step is still gonna be the same all right now after installing onto the windows the next operating system we are going to take is our mac os so let's take a look how we can install onto our mac os so go to your browser over here and in the google you just simply need to type aws cli install just click on the first link again and you will get back to the same page from where we have already installed the cli onto windows so just click on mac os over here and here you will find the option to download that particular package so this is the link which you need to install uh, through which you can install it which is our gui installer okay so i would highly recommend to use the gui installer because that is quite user friendly and uh, you don't need to play around with your command line interface to run the manual command so just click on this package and here you can see which i have already downloaded it is just downloading it again and then you just need to click on it to begin the installation and here you can see this is the uh, command this is the ui for installing the aws cli onto your mac os then click on continue i have already installed the aws cli so it probably gonna show you the message or otherwise it is gonna upgrade for me okay then click on continue then click on continue and just click on agree and uh, continue and here you just need to continue and install it and it is going to ask for the password for my uh, laptop so i'm just going to enter the password and now the installation of my aws cli is finished i'm just going to click on close over here and then move to trash the package which i have already downloaded because my installation has been finished all right so i'm just going to open the terminal so let me go to my terminal i'll just close uh, this terminal over here i'll just move it to that side and i'm just going to open a one more terminal which is a default one and this is the terminal which is onto my uh, mac os so let me increase the font over here so i think which is good and here uh, i just need to uh, verify whether i have installed the aws so i'm just going to run the command aws dash dash version and here you can see uh, the aws cli has been installed all right so the next thing is i'm just going to run the aws configure command over here also and here i need to enter the access key and secret key once again but the steps are quite common which i just showed you into the windows system so i don't need to repeat that step once again but the idea is you just need to install the aws cli and once you are uh, able to verify that you have installed the aws cli properly using this aws version command then you just need to configure your credential and then you are good to go and you can start using your aws cli onto mac os now after installing onto windows mac os the next operating system i'm just going to use is our linux operating system and for linux i'm just going to use the terminal and i'm just going to install it via command line so uh, i'll just switch over to my terminal over here and i'm just going to open the linux operating system which i am having and the linux operating system which i'm using over here is the ubuntu and here you can see this is the ubuntu and let's check whether we have installed the aws cli already or not and here you can see our aws cli is not present onto this operating system so the easiest way is you can just run this command which is sudo apt install aws cli which you can easily find once you run the aws command over here because aws the ubuntu system will automatically tell you that this is the command which you need to run to install the aws all right so i'm just gonna clear the screen and i'm just gonna run the command over here i'm just gonna paste that command and hit enter uh, there are no uh, so i just need to do the update so i'll just run the sudo apt get update i just need to put dash over here so i'm just just updating the package manager of my ubuntu after uh, getting my new ubuntu machine up and running okay so now my package manager has been updated and i'm just gonna run the same command once again 
and here you can see now it is able to install the aws cli onto my ubuntu system i'm just going to type yes over here and this is my remote ubuntu machine or linux machines and i have just provisioned before uh, i started shooting uh, or i just uh, started recording this demo so that's why i the package manager of this particular machine was not updated so first of all i have updated the package manager and after that i have just uh, begin the installation of my aws cli all right so now it should uh, finish the aws cli installation very soon over here And here you can see my AWS CLI has been finished. I'm just going to clear the screen and I'm just going to run the command AWS dash dash version to verify. And here you can see the version has been installed onto my uh, Linux machine. And again, you can just simply run the next command, which is AWS configure. And here you will ask for access ID, secret key, and the region. Uh, you can just see the same uh, credential how I have fetched into the Windows system because that step is pretty much same irrespective of what kind of operating system you are using. So just supply those command and you should be able to configure your AWS CLI onto your Linux machine as well. All right, so now we have seen like how to install our AWS CLI onto different operating system and how to configure your credentials on using your AWS CLI. The next thing is how to execute and how to read the AWS documentation so that you can run the AWS CLI command. So the best way I would say is you just need to perfect your approach on how to read the documentation and then create your AWS CLI command because that's the easy way. Otherwise, you will not be able to remember or keep all the commands in your mind. So what I usually do, I just go to the AWS documentation and from there, I just try to prepare the command which I want to execute. All right. So for that, what you need to do, you just need to go to uh, the browser and here you can just simply type onto the Google. Let's say, for example, you want to run the command for S3 bucket. So just type AWS S3 uh, CLI and then hit enter. Then it will open the first documentation. So just go to the documentation and I'll show you the step by step approach how to prepare your AWS CLI command. So first of all, let's take a look how we can create and list all the AWS S3 bucket present inside my account. Okay, so here is my AWS account which you can see and in the search box just go to S3 to verify how many S3 buckets we are having. Okay, so I'm just gonna show to you. So here you can see there are four buckets which are present inside my S3 uh, bucket. All right, I just wanted to list all the buckets name using the AWS CLI and the command which, uh, which I need to create is from reading this particular documentation. OK, so whenever you're reading the documentation, the first thing which you need to remember is you just need to run the AWS. First of all, just type the AWS by reading it over here, then go to your terminal. I'm just going to type AWS over here. Then second thing is what your resource is. So here the resource is S3. So here you can see this is your resource. So just copy this and space and then put that resource name over here. Sorry, it is not this one. Uh, let me clear it once again. So first of all, which is AWS, then the second resource is S3, AWS, which is this one, and then the S3, which is this one. Okay. Now the next thing is like what you want to perf uh, perform on that particular resource. So if you scroll down further, then you will find the path argument type. And if you go further here, then you will find uh, like various options which are available over here. So just go down further and here you will see the available commands option. So these are the commands which you can run from that particular CLI. So here you can see which we have uh, already written AWS and the resource is S3. In case if, you're, if you want to run uh, command on EC2, then instead of S3, you can just replace it with the EC2. Okay. Then the next thing is you just need to uh, perform what kind of uh, operation you want to perform with that AWS CLI. So I'm just going to perform the list operation and for that the command is ls. Okay, so just copy this ls from here and just hit enter over here. And here you can see it is able to list all the um, buckets present inside my AWS account. So this is how I just prepare the command uh, whenever I'm working with my AWS CLI. All right.
Now we have seen a very basic example on how to use the AWS CLI to list the bucket. The next thing I would like to show you like how you can create the S3 bucket using the CLI. So here you can see this is the command which I have written uh, which we can modify a bit also. So but before that before I explain this command to you first thing which you, which you need to remember is how to create this command. So again if you don't remember like what's the syntax what's the uh, keywords which you need to put inside your AWS CLI then I would highly recommend to open a browser and just go to google and just type aws cli create s3 bucket just simply and here you will find a first link which will show you that how you can cre create this particular aws cli command so the command which you need to uh, create over here is that you just need to use this keywords aws s3 api and after that create bucket is your keyword okay so here you can see this is the command which i have just copied from the documentation so these are the three keywords which i have just copied then the bucket which is our flag the name of the bucket so i'm just going to put test bucket uh, rvog uh, demo one because s3 bucket you should put a unique name to it okay and after that in which reason you want to create that bucket so here i just need to prefix or suffix uh, the region flag over here which you can see and after that you just need to enter the region name so here i'm just gonna stick with uh, the europe region eu uh, north one but you can uh, use any reason which is nearest to you so just suffix that region name over here okay and then just copy this particular command and go to your terminal and i'll just clear this one and then paste that command over here and hit enter and there is one more flag which we need to prefix over suffix over here is the create bucket configuration so which is it is complaining for so i'm just going to copy this particular uh, configuration from here and uh, i'm just going to go over here and just put it over here and then i'm just going to use the same region over here once again so let's verify once again and yeah it looks correct so again copy this whole command from here go to your terminal i'll just clear it and then enter that particular command over here all right and then hit enter and here you can see our uh, test bucket has been created so as you can see like when i was preparing this command i forgot to enter this particular flag which is create bucket configuration so it's really hard for me to remember all of these things so i just keep on referring the documentation to prepare these kind of a commands with me and once you are familiar with these kind of a commands then just keep a direct diary where you can just make a note of these commands all right so let's verify this particular bucket which we have just created okay so go to your aws account which is over here and here you can see previously there were four buckets so i'm just going to refresh this one and here you can see now the five buckets are there so now we have a five buckets over here all right so this was a small uh, session on how to get your familiar with the aws cli and how to start using your aws cli to manage your aws services from your command line interface